finally returning to the office have been met with an alarming rise in violence. 168 transit crimes in May citywide, nearly double the 81 incidents reported at the same time last year. We are seeing these headlines about percentage increases, that this hysteria, you know, that this doesn't drive a hysteria and that we look at these numbers in context. Overall crime in May spiked by 22 percent compared to May of 2020. Robberies shot up by nearly 47 percent and shooting incidents surged by 73 percent. Hysteria. Shootings in the first five months of this year more than doubled compared to the first five months of 2019. Hysteria. Men firing shots near a Bronx playground. Hysteria. Murders so far this year are up by about 17.4 percent. Hysteria. <laughs> It was bedlam. A year ago this month, parts of the city were rocked by rioting and looting. Stores from the Bronx to Midtown to Soho gutted by roving mobs, taking advantage of the George Floyd protest and the pandemic. Now, the NYPD did make hundreds of arrests, but more than a year later, a great majority of the criminal cases against suspected looters have simply been dropped. Police say they've identified one of the men suspected of putting up racist stickers. Posted this sticker that you're looking at right here on your screen. Countless violent Black Lives Matter rioters who burned down entire blocks, attacked police stations, destroyed small businesses, looted stores and attacked citizens had charges against them dropped. Meanwhile, they arrested and charged the dude who posted a few white boy summer stickers. Is this white privilege? Shut up, racist. Anyone who opposes taking knee is racist. Discrimination against people of color in football is still a massive problem. Look at the French national team, for example. The lack of diversity is shocking. Africa won the World Cup. A recently unveiled statue of George Floyd in Newark was vandalized with graffiti. Oh, no. Anyway. White people don't really understand a lot about black hair. And by the way, if your first reaction to that was, hey, not all white people, Maybe look inside yourself and figure out why that is your response to things. White viewers in particular might want to keep in mind going forward. And to that end, if you are one, there's a message that you should probably hear. Hi, white people. Listen, I got to talk to these white people. Fucking Google it. Fuck off. You can learn what the fuck a box braid is, bitch. White people. Fuck off, bitch. You are a white, straight, cis man. The world was built by you and for you to capture, to achieve, to acquire, to plant your goddamn flag. OK, well, I mean, this is Bob Marley. Didn't know who he was. OK, but, but you wanted dreadlocks like Bob Marley? Yeah, I think I could like really pull that off. Don't you think I can pull it off? I don't, um, but it's not really about that. Don't know if you've ever heard of the term cultural appropriation before. You're not getting it. Um, let's just not do this. I'm going to ask you to leave. Wait, what? Why? Um, I tried to explain, but you weren't listening, so let's just end this now. What is happening? Oh, it's nothing personal. It's just that we hate you here. We hate you. We hate you. We are living next door to a racist. And it is important that we train and we understand. Uh, and I, I want to understand white rage. And I'm white. And I want to understand it. <laughs> Coming around, tat tat, crackin' we'll kill everything white inside. Whoa! What was that? You want to say it again? Um, yes. I can't wait until black people lynch white people. Look out of New York. We don't want you here. 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 We don't want your fucking money. We don't want your fucking money. We don't want your fucking taqueria. About racism, anti blackness, or violence. About racism, anti blackness, or violence. I will use my voice in the most uplifting way possible. And do everything in my power to educate my community. I will love my black neighbors the same as my white ones. Mmm, nothing like entitled white male for breakfast. Here I come, motherfucker! Woo! But seriously, 
if the entire culture is predicated on hating white people, and this is amplified by every TV show, social media network, celebrities and the education system. Doesn't that suggest to you that the only true form of systemic racism is against whites? Why don't we get out of here and go back to my place? I want to talk to you about FBI crime statistics. For example, did you know that blacks make up 13% of the population? White people, there's a message that you should probably hear. Fucking white man. White people. White. White, white people. Racist. White people. Fuck off, bitch. We hate you. There's a message that you should probably hear. Fuck off. We hate you. 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 Fuck off, bitch. We hate you. Is this white privilege? Shut up, racist. This is Radio Freedom. This summer is a... Uh... Is that a gram? New card. What do you think? Whoa. Very nice. Look at that. Picked them up from the printers yesterday. Good coloring. That's bone. And the lettering is something called Cillian Braille. It's very cool, Bateman. But that's nothing. Look at this. That is really nice. Eggshell with Romalian type. What do you think? Nice. Jesus, that is really super. How do nitwit like you get so tasteful? I can't believe that Bryce prefers Van Patten's card to mine. But wait, you ain't seen nothing yet. Raised lettering, pale nimbus, white. Impressive, very nice. Mm. Let's see Paul Allen's card. subtle off-white coloring, a tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god, it even has a watermark. Something wrong? Patrick? You're sweating. Today, the FBI raised the pride flag at our headquarters in support of our LGBTQ colleagues. We thank them for their contributions to the FBI and the country. For the first time in state history, a pride flag is flying over the state capitol. The Biden administration is allowing the return of pride flags as a present at U.S. embassies. Your flag is literally flying over every major western capital city, government buildings, cultural institutions and U.S. embassies. Your movement is supported by every major transnational corporation in the world, Hollywood, the entertainment industry, the military-industrial complex and academia. While Christian pastors who merely read Bible passages on the street are arrested. Is this oppression? Shut up, homophobe. The Black Lives Matter statue was torn down in Budapest just one day after it was put on display. Oh no! Anyway... I just want to be clear with you. It's okay for a man to go into the women's section show his penis around the other women, young little girls under age. Your spa, we spa, condone that. Is that what you're saying? Like I asked. 
It's so he so he could stay there. He could stay there. What sexual orientation? I see a dick. It lets me know he's a man. He he's a man. He is a man. He is not no female. Okay. Girls down there, other women who are highly offended for what they just saw, and you did nothing, absolutely nothing. In fact, you sided with him. So we spa is an agreement with men that just say they are a woman and they can go down there with their penis and get into the women's section. You got a man with his penis talking about he's a woman. He ain't no woman. Uh-uh. Yeah, give her her money back. Are you talking about a transgender person? Are you talking about a transgender person? Enemy spotted. He has a penis. He has penis is hanging out. Okay, no, I'm not one. Actually, I'm a woman who knows how to stand up and speak up for my right. As a woman, I have a right to feel comfortable without a man exposing himself, okay? No, you go somewhere else. To the tent. To the tent. And we're so proud of him and so proud of the, the choice that he has made. What, what he has decided, and we've supported, yeah. should be celebrated. <laughs>
I got you, Pfizer, Moderna, J&J, even you, AstraZeneca, roll on up your sleeve, get vaccinated. It's here. It's a Fauci ouchy pouchy for my vaccination card. Shout out to our favorite MD. Anthony Fauci. Hi, Dr. Fauci. Once you got the vaccine, hug your family. Prefer really not to um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in in big trouble, in big trouble, and I don't want to be in big trouble. Does a bride and groom need to wear a mask when walking down the altar? Uh, it, it depends on the nature of, of where the service is. If if the service indoors. if the service is indoors, then I would imagine the answer is yes. Behaviour of social distancing of when you're indoors making sure there's good ventilation or if it's not wearing face masks generally when you say long term what do you mean by that how long um i think forever forever <laughs> uk 2035 a few more months and we've got this beat dozens of tennis balls with mean messages thrown into grounds of parliament as people protest against lockdown please no not the mean messages oh no anyway absolutely crucial for you to help me fight the war on free speech by supporting me via subscribe star link in description and also signing up for my free newsletter at summit.news forward slash newsletter